Those are big, scary questions. Um, I'm Kayla. I was living in Lethbridge um, and going to the university. Um, I moved there a year ago, um, and I just finished my first year. Um, so I, and I guess uh, recently I just dropped out of school. Um, yeah, uh, I'm taking a year off so I can work and save my money and travel next year. After high school, I guess I didn't really, I knew exactly what I wanted to do, but I didn't know where I wanted to go or where I wanted to live or, like, I really didn't want to go to the university in Calgary. Um, that's where I'm from. And, uh, but I didn't know where else to go and, um, I don't know, I kind of just applied everywhere and ended up just taking a year off and working and, um, almost went to Toronto at one point and BC at one point and, um, then I just decided I had a friend of mine who lived in Lethbridge and it was far enough away from home but close enough to home too and, um, the biggest thing was that, you know, there was Toronto and there was the whole plan and it was, um, shoot, I can't remember, human biology, I think, that I was going to major in, and um, it was the only place I could find that had that, and, you know, so that was kind of the road, right, like, I was going to do that, and then med school, and had the whole plan worked out, right, and then, you know, kind of settled my life on it being that, and then that fell through, right, and, and I was like, I don't know where I'm going to go or what I want to do, and I, uh, in high school, I was really good at science, right? And so I kind of figured, hey, I'm good at this stuff and it can get me a real job, right? So I might as well, but I mean, at the same time, I've always been kind of a, kind of a dreamer. And <laughs> um, I don't know, my family wanted me to go to med school, kind of, and that's what I'd always talked about in high school, but um, afterwards, like, I, well, I couldn't imagine doing that for the rest of my life, and I kind of just wanted to... I was working at Starbucks and just wanted to do that for the rest of my life, you know, just open a tea shop and meet people and, you know, run my own business and I just thought that would be really cool, but it was kind of a pipe dream at the time, you know, so I kind of wanted to take both, like the science stuff and the management stuff. Well, in hopes of getting a degree that would actually help, um, I was taking these science courses that were, I mean, they're thousand levels, so they're easy, right? But I was like, this stuff is super specific and I'm never gonna need to know it for my job. And, you know, I took them anyway because, you know, I wanted to keep all my options open and stuff. Um, I mean, like, the the management side, like, the economics and the statistic courses were really good. Like, I liked those a lot. Um, but a lot of me was like, can I get the same, like, if I want to open a business, why do I need to be here? Like, can I just go get a business diploma? you know, and go do it right away. And I don't know, everybody I talked to was like, just stay in university, you know, like get a degree so that if your plans don't work out, you have something to fall back on. And, you know, I like going to school. Like, it was really cool to be there and hang out with young people all the time. Well, um, originally, like I had doubts in the first couple months. Um, <laughs> I remember whining to my roommate, I wanted to quit science altogether. Um, and, uh, but then I kind of, I guess I got into it, um, a couple months in and, you know, started really getting into school mode and studying and, um, doing that whole thing. And I liked my classes, um, the second semester I took a lot less science and a lot more, um, business stuff, which was like, it felt good, you know, it was actually useful. I was like, hey, I can use this someday, you know, um. And I guess that leads to, you know, first semester, second year, I'm taking entirely psych courses for the psych half of my degree, and just useless. Like, we studied optical illusions for three classes. I'm like, well, that's cool. Um, <laughs> you know, so I started thinking, like, why pour all my, you know, because I'm not going to go to school and get a shitty GPA and not care. Why pour all my time into reading these textbooks and studying this material and going to these classes when none of it's helpful, you know, and when none of it's even remotely geared towards what I want to do. And it's like, yeah, it's a plan B, you know, it's a, a real degree to get a real job, but I'm spending $2,500 a semester on a plan B. 
like, <laughs> I don't know. So I thought, why not, you know, devote that time and energy into, like, working and saving money and, you know, getting my life together and figuring out what I want and how I need to get it, or, you know, what I need to do to get it, I guess. I'm always so busy that, you know, between, like, between working and going to school and, you know, extracurricular activities, like, I never have time to clean my room or, you know, I never have more than two seconds to put myself together and stop and figure out what's going on. It's kind of just like running from one place to the next all the time, um, you know, and like I like being busy, I like being like that, but at the same time, it's good to have time to sort things out. Well, yeah, I guess my plan is to start planning. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, this is a good thing, it's positive, and, but it's so scary, like, to try to do something that's scary already and then have people telling you, like, you know, I think you made a mistake. <laughs> it's really hard to hear the people that you care about think that you're making a mistake because then you wonder, am I? Like, really? And even if you're sure that you're not, like, it's just, it's scary and it's hard and it sucks to be a disappointment to people, you know? <laughs> I was really stoked on going to university and, you know, like, I really thought that Lethbridge was going to be the place and it's, it's an awesome school. Like, don't get me wrong, it's just, I don't know, maybe I've changed so much in the last year or two that now university just seems like so wrong. You know, so many people go to university, like, not knowing what they want to do and just taking classes that interest them or that they think they like or that they think will get them a good job, you know, and it's me, I got there knowing exactly what I wanted but no idea how to get it, you know, and I thought university was the way because that's kind of, everybody says, you know, if you want to succeed, you go to post-secondary. But I'm kind of starting to think it's bullshit. Like, success is different for everybody. My biggest fear is that I'll get into the habit of just going to work and that's it. You know, and that's not going to get me anywhere, I guess. Um, I'm scared of finding myself a year from now without having conquered anything in a year, you know, I'm scared of accidentally falling into, you know, like, falling into a rut and just kind of working it and surviving and, you know, having just enough money and free will to just keep on living the same life that I'm living and never actually growing, you know, I mean, that's a fear, I mean, when you're in university, even when you're not trying super hard at university, you're still moving forward, you know, you're still getting towards the end of the year, the end of semester, a year closer to your degree, right? Whereas now, I don't have to move forward unless I consciously make the choice to, which is really hard. Like, every moment I spend not doing something productive, I'm freaked out that I'm wasting my time and it's slipping away from me. That's the worst me I can become is just someone who doesn't care, someone who gets a job that pays enough to just keep living comfortably from paycheck to paycheck without any real desire to go on to something bigger or better. Figuring out what you want and then realizing that a conventional method is not going to be the way to get there is super scary because it's much easier if what you want and what society wants you to do coincide, right? Actually, in the past year, um, I've done so much, well, it feels like I've done so much soul searching and growing up and figuring out who I want to be and what I want and, you know, like, the decision wasn't so much a hoping to change who I am, it was kind of the product of the realization of, I guess, who I am and who I want to be, you know, like, going through a year of school and talking to people and meeting people kind of just, you know, and thinking about me and what I wanted and everything kind of pushed me to the idea that, you know, I don't 
want to put four more years into a backup plan and I'm not the kind of person that can just sit around and pour time and energy into a maybe that people have such a preconceived notion about how to be successful and they think that you know anyone who doesn't follow that is just going to be working dead-end jobs for the rest of their lives you know and the second thing is that people have so little faith in me that I don't know I like to think I'm not the kind of person who would stop at average, but everybody kind of seems to think that I'm going to, which is really annoying. <laughs> Do it. Go for what you love. Follow your dreams. It's stupid and cliche. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I kind of believe it. Bring on the inspirational posters. <laughs> mm.